After being smashed by Crystal Palace yesterday night, 4-0 um, at Selhurst Park. Very embarrassing performance. Um, many fans have been calling out for Eric Ten Hag to be sacked this morning. Just come to pick him up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's taxi for Ten Hag. He's <laughs> going, he's going. Um, but, of course... Um, I don't believe that's going to happen. And so far, so good. It hasn't happened. I've got some news that says um, there is no intention to sack Ten Hag before the FA Cup final. So give me your thoughts. Because um, in my own opinion, I don't think Ten Hag should be sacked at all. I feel he should be given more time. But tell me in the comments down below what do you think we should do with Ten Hag. But as far as he goes, he's not going to be sacked until after the FA Cup final. The FA Cup final is going to be on a Sunday, I think on the 24th of May. I think it's on a Sunday, or 28th of May or so. I've forgotten the date, but it's going to be on a Sunday. So if he's going to be sacked, we're going to be expecting Eric Ten Hag to be sacked uh, on the next day, which is going to be on a Monday. Um, So that's around three weeks from today. But so far, so good, he's not going to be sacked, no matter the result. Even if uh, We're going to be beaten by Arsenal on Sunday. More highly likely, with Arsenal's form, with the way we're playing right now, we're so shit. No defenders, players that players that won't turn up. Um, it is highly likely that we're going to be beaten by Arsenal on Sunday too. And um, no matter the score, I don't think it makes sense to sack him. Although some people will say sack Aiton Hag so we can get a new manager bounce. Um, so that we can be able to maybe that will give us the extra push to beat Man City in the FA Cup final if we sack Aiton Hag now. Um, but for me, I think we having we are going to have lots of players available back um in the team for the FA Cup final and with the full strong team we can be able to put a real challenge against Man City in the FA Cup final but of course Man City are the favourite we are the underdogs we are like highly likely to lose that game but um, it's excruciating to watch United play honestly I'll, the fact is I'm tired of watching us play I want this season to end but you know when the game comes up on Sunday against Arsenal I'm still going to you know turn on the telly and watch that game and when we play against Newcastle, I'm still going to watch it. The final game of the season, I'm still going to watch it. The FA, FA Cup final, I'm still going to watch it because we love this, this football club. Um, and that has fun on this football club. And I'm going to watch every game, no matter the circumstances. But I won't lie. It is really, 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 um, sad to watch us play. And I just, I'm waiting for the excitement of the, of the transfer summer because I know it's going to be a lot different from the normal, but. And uh, we have uh, some news coming out also that says a number of United players believe uh, the Hag's fate is effectively sealed. The Hag's communication with his squad is said to have caused issues this season with some sources believing he's lacking in motivational skills and empathy. So, <laughs> players that are being paid millions of um, pounds a year are complaining about motivational skills from the manager. So, the money we are paying them isn't enough to motivate them they need the manager to also give them extra motivation. And if you look at Ten Hag, Ten Hag look, look like a stone cold bastard. Looks like a discipline, is a disciplinarian. And, um, maybe that's true. Maybe he's really stone cold on these players, but come on. Come on. Do your job. He's not here to be your friend. He's not here to be your father. Uh, he's not here to pat you in the back. You're here to play as a professional footballer. And I'm very sure that players who are disciplined enough will get to relate with him very well. If you are disciplined enough, you know what you are here to do. You are committed to your career, committed to the club, committed to wearing that um, shirt. You have no problem with uh, the hand. But if you are the, the Sancho's, the social media kind of uh, players, uh, you have a problem with him, you know, talking to you or not really being too hard on you uh, if, because you are this soft kind of player. So I, I'm going I'm to think that would be a pinch of salt because honestly, the, I'm tired of these players and like I've always said, it's time for the players to go. Rather than the manager, rather than the manager being sacked, I want to sack these players because I'm tired of this set of players. But yeah, Eric Hag is not going to be sacked. He's he's going to stay until at least the FA Cup final. And after the FA Cup final, whatever happens, happens. We are being linked with managers like Graham Potter, Thomas Tuchel, and other managers. Bayern Munich are interested in Eric Hag. Um, Thomas Tuchel wants to come out to the Premier League. Um, if I was Eric Den Hag, maybe I might go to Bayern, but I don't think he's the kind of manager that wants to quit. So if we are not, if we are not, if we're not going to sack him, he's going to remain. But Bayern want Den Hag. Man City had Den Hag on their shortlist to replace um, Pep Guardiola someday. Other clubs have always been interested in Den Hag, but we got him. 
and because of how useless the club is being run, he, his credentials have, have, have are in the mud because you know you come to United as a highly rated coach, as a highly rated player, and you come here and the management of the club sink sinks you in to the mud and you are like nothing. But at least Peham Peham wants him, so it means that even if we start a tag today, he will still get a good job somewhere else. And he might still go to the, go to Bayern, win the Champions League and do, and win the league year in, year out. He could, he could very well do that. Um, so, um, most people think that if, if they start now today, he's going to, his, his career is over, he's going to be useless. No, he's going to go to Bayern, one of the best run club in the world, the best team, um, over the years, not right now, but over the years in the German league. Of course, they have won the title more than, more than every other person. They're always going, Deep into the Champions League, so he's going to be playing for a very top, a, a, one of the biggest club in the world. Unlike um, Ole, who got sacked and hasn't gotten a decent job since, and his other backroom staff are coaching Championship clubs, and one just one, one got promoted to Premier League, which is very good. And so it takes it takes nothing away from Eric Ten Hag. He's still a very good coach, and yeah, let's see what happens. But Ten Hag is going to stay. So don't bother yourself. No matter the results, no matter what happens, Tank is going to stay until the after the FA Cup final. That is when the decision will be made. If he's going to be sacked, it's going to be on the Monday after the FA Cup final. If he's going to stay, we are still going to know on the Monday after the FA Cup final. So whatever happens, we'll keep tight and don't be scared. Don't be if you if you want, if you want if you want him to stay, don't be scared yet. It's not yet time. And if you want him to go. Cool down your temper and allow him to coach. Allow him to do whatever he wants to do until after the cup, FA Cup final. And you might get a wish. You might be sacked. But until then, let us cool down. What can you do?